order to drill the symmetrical layout for the alias, you're going to want to put the mass bias at 90 degrees from the bowler's thumb hole. So since Matt is right-handed, we want that mass bias to be 90 degrees to the right. So in order to figure out what that mass bias angle is, I must first start with a known drilled ball. So for Matt, I'm choosing the strong mass bias layout, which put the mass bias right in the thumb. So this layout made that degree 80 degrees. So from Matt's PAP through his pin to his thumb hole is 80 degrees. So I take 80 degrees minus the 90, which gives me a negative 10. So when I go to lay out Matt's symmetrical layout, that mass bias angle is going to be negative 10. Now let me show you actually how you do that layout. So we figured out Matt's mass bias angle needs to be negative 10 degrees or 350 degrees from his PAP for the symmetrical layout. So for this layout, negative 10 by 5, like the other balls, and then by 30 degree VAL. So we'll start by drawing a line from the pin to the mass bias. We'll put zero on the ruler edge on the pin, and zero degrees on that line from the pin to, to the mass bias. If I measure to the right, that'll be a positive mass bias angle, so we want a negative 10. So to the left, 10 degrees. And that creates my, creates my mass bias angle. Now for my pin distance, I'll measure down from the pin, from the center of the pin to 5 inches. That marks my PAP. And now I'm going to create my VAL angle. Put 0 on the PAP, on the ruler edge, 0 degrees on the pin. Measure to the right, 30 degrees. And connect those that point to my PAP. I now have my PAP in my vertical axis line, or my VAL. Now I need to reverse Matt's PAP. His PAP is a half inch up, so I'm going to go a half inch down. And I'm going to measure across to create my midline. And his horizontal measurement is five and a quarter. So go to the left, five and a quarter. That will be a center of grip. And now I'm creating my center line. So from there, I'll measure up for where Matt's finger should go and his thumb hole should go for the layout. Now what you'll notice is the pin is above his fingers and the CG is above his fingers. But because of the new specs we're building for this bowling ball with lower top weights and shorter pin distances, we will not need a balance hole for this ball.